It's great fun, this gliding. First of all, you study the lie of the land, decide where you'll go, or rather where the wind will take you. Then you just step in and buckle on a belt, it's in case you fall out, because they call this the perambulator stage of flying. And then they fit a sort of rabbit hutch affair over you. I suppose that's just another presentative. And away you go. Then it's up to you and the wind whether you return to Mother Earth with a bump or just saw around for a couple of hours till you feel like a drink. Of course, you don't always come down where you want to. So you borrow a friend's car and get a tow back up the hill. There's a man who ought to be able to give you a tip or two, kneeling under the wing. Claude Graham White, one of the famous pioneers of flying. He tried his hand at this sort of thing with the Wright brothers back in 1900. They tell me you can buy one of these gliders for 75 pounds. And Mr. Snowden hasn't taxed them yet. So I suppose we shall have to sell the baby and take to the air. But a word of warning. Women are taking up this sport. And if you're overtaking one and she holds out her right hand, look out. She's probably going to loop the loop. <laughs>